And the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. See that quote? I'm here at Orange Coworking, and this is in the kitchen break area of Orange Coworking where a bunch of random people, entrepreneurs, business owners come every day to work around their fellow humans. Not alone, not in a space alone, but here, yes. And this album here by Bob Livingston, who's a very good friend of mine and a frequent collaborator with Strings Attached, is related to that quote. If you look at the very first song on the album, it's called Shell Game. That quote I was talking about, you need to go over here? <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. It's called The Shell Game. And one of the lyrics, or what this song talks about is, have you ever been in that moment when, I'm gonna turn it around here. Have you ever been in that moment where you felt like you needed to connect with somebody and you wanted to talk to them? And you wanted to make a connection, but something held, something held you back from connecting. Was it fear? Was it that you didn't want to interrupt their reality that you maybe they were too busy or you were too busy or maybe it just wasn't the right moment but has there ever been that time when you knew it was the right moment but you still didn't make an effort to connect i think in the world that we live in we're moving so quickly and we look at devices and we are so focused micro focused on our own our own worlds that a lot of times we don't do what we as humans have done well before the time of devices which was to have community and to connect. And all the studies show, the recent studies show, that the people that live the longest are those that have tight bonds with their fellow humans, those that talk more during the day. Those people live longer than the people that don't talk. So I would really like to encourage you to watch the rest of this video. And here I am at Orange Coworking. It's a space here in South Austin where you can just be in a room of collaboration and be inspired. But I also want you to check out Bob Livingston's album right here. Bob Livingston's new album, Up the Flatland Stairs. This first song, Shell Game, talks about this. And one of the things that I love about music, and especially songs, is when I hear a song, it reminds me of a part of myself that maybe I left behind somewhere. A part of myself that needs to be revisited. And they're reminders. They're like little story reminders. And Bob does a great job of showing and not telling in that song. And for me, when I heard that song, I said, you know what? I need to do that. I need to put it out there more often. I need to, to push past my hesitancy. You know, some of us have this better than others, but some of us maybe are a little more shy. But that doesn't mean that we still can't connect and we still can't push through. What do you have to lose? For example, last night, I go out with my daughter dancing and, you know, there's that risk, there's that vulnerability of, of asking somebody else to the worst that could happen. I'd say take the risk. And it's a lot about the idea of not being connected to the outcome. So what if they... So what if that person that, that you want to connect with, that you want to ask to dance, or that you want to maybe propose an idea about an, uh, an entrepreneurial pursuit, rejects you? So that, that's the opportunity. The opportunity is to be not connected, not invested in the outcome, but just go for it. And if they say no and they reject you, then you say, okay, thank you, and you move on to the next person and you find somebody else. Is to not be so attached. That's what it is. You don't want to be detached, but not attached to the outcome. So in any case, I think it's worth a risk. And I think many times when you push past that comfort zone, that little bit of hesitancy, that fear or whatever you want to call it, that shyness, that you'll find a beautiful gift on the other side, whether it's a new business partner, a new friend, a new romantic partner, a new dance partner, you'll find the gems of life experience that make life so wonderful to live. Last night for me, it was dancing at the um, <laughs> highball, dancing at the highball in South Austin to the matchmaker band with Angie Koguts, who's an amazing singer who'll be playing with us at the 
Dark Side of the Moon show coming up, stringsattached.org. Let's just do a really quick look at, it's just me looking here, sorry, at this space. I'm not filming anybody but myself. This is the beautiful co-working space called Orange Co-working here in Austin, Texas. And uh, here's a little space something about this space what it says what is this space it's a high speed internet haven yes it is that but it's much more than that there's meeting rooms there's event space there's a creative office space can you guys read this oh no it's it's backwards writing okay well i'll turn it around in case you're wondering where i am here that's better what is this place yes high speed internet haven heaven that is true i can upload my largest movies within minutes but it's much more than that it's a where a philosophical approach to life, to work, can happen. And you can make those little moments of connection if you dare to push through the vulnerability. There are people here. Matter of fact, I just reached out to a gentleman over there. We were talking about the weather. I could have chosen not to have said anything to him and said, oh, I don't want to bother that guy. He's, you know, he's working. But no, I reached out to him and we made a connection and it made my day fuller and richer. That says orange co-working. So that's where these kinds of connections where you can you can push out of the shell, you know, and or, or blossom in a way, which is what Anais Nin talked about in that quote. And I would encourage you to go check out Bob Livingston's new album. That first song is called Shell. And maybe from this video, your life is richer because you heard this video or you heard that song or you came to Orange Co-working and met somebody and got out of that isolated space that you're in there right now watching this video. You're thinking, where can I work in Austin and be around humans? Yes, this is the place right here. All right, so come in and see Lori. She's not available right now, but she is to my right doing lots of work. Yep, I'll give you a quick view. Ready? There she is. Okay. <laughs> and uh, they're ready to help you. Look at that artwork. There's amazing artwork on the walls, and it's changed out every. And like, it's all every, local Austin. And it's all local Austin artists. Where else can you go and co-work like that? Okay, I'm gonna try to show you without showing people. Okay, so come check Lori out because she has some promotions going on right now. Check out the Bob Livingston album, and StringsAttached.org. Thanks for watching.